oh, it must be such a gut wrenching feeling. Not not only did you lose your You're house, exposed. but it's like, oh, there's my nudie magazines down on the highway. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast, everybody. I am, in fact, Spencer Cardia. I am Paprika. Paprika from Blue's Clues? Yeah, I'm inspired. Shout out, Steve. Shout out, Steve. Steve's back. Yes. Gone. Is Paprika this color, I think? Papri- paprika. Paprika, yeah. I thought it was like red, more like an orangey red. Is this not reddish? That's a dark maroon. Your I think red. actually my hat yeah, would be paprika. closer to Paprika. And this here is Frank, looking like like a like New himself. Yorker or something. Like a dancer. He looks like a dancer. He does. Like, not a dancer who's dancing. A dancer who's not dancing right now. Yeah, like he has on leg warmers. Yeah. Let me see. He does have on leg warmers. I was Good right. Good to know. Good to know. What is up, up guys? Everybody. Oh, oh, my <laughs> God. It's good to be back. Every time I'm not podcasting, I don't know what to do with my life. I sit here, just in this chair, and I just I power down. It's like... Doo, 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 doo. Um. Well, you also doo, 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 doo. watch all your YouTube friends when you're not filming i see you watching other people's always watching other people's always getting inspired by you guys out there yes now what now that i see saw steve spread all that positive information yeah i want to spread it back you look great keep doing what you're doing yeah yeah steve still you are as old as the anniversary of blues clues wow i am exactly as old so i should have named you steve you should name me blue but Jay Z got to it first. Um, <laughs> first, you're, you're. Well, I know you're. Um, I'm Gen, you're I know, Gen Z. I gotta, so you're I, younger I, than Blue Carter. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> We're like I would, I would say the same age bracket. Okay. Like we both probably you know get the same jokes. And yeah. Stuff. Right. Right. But what's going on, guys? It's Thursday. Um, September 9th. Yesterday we said it was September 9th. I know. We just we have no idea what day it is. Don't you miss the days back in school where you always knew what day it was? Yeah, we had to write. So I went to Catholic school and we always had to write the date at the top right hand side. And you couldn't you couldn't abbreviate. It had to be September, Oof. the date. Oof. And then you had to put at the top of every single page, you had to make a cross with a dot in the front and a dot in the back, like at the base of the cross. Why? I can't remember. Ooh, maybe you should look it up. Yeah. Why is there a dot in the... Cross. So they, 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 you know, they conditioned me to remember to do that to my notebook, but I, I don't know. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. No, why the two dots? I don't know. I don't know either. This hat's too small. Okay, so stop wearing it. I, I need a haircut. I'm going to haircut tomorrow. I'm going to a him? tiki party. Have you ever been to a tiki party? Tiki torches? No, it's not a tiki torch party. Um, tiki it, party? Like a Hawaiian. You drink, you drink out of pineapples and it's just like like basically it's where wine luau or is there going to be a pig oh i wonder no i don't think so i think there's going to be like um is it a vegan like luau? pineapple like pineapple coleslaw or Poo-poo? something what's that pawpaw what is the poo it's a it's it's a hawaiian poo very... platter i think Poo-poo-poo that's chinese maybe yeah that's very... chinese really? isn't it don't I you go to china i thought you went to a chinese restaurant and got a poo platter Hawaiian is very Asian influence. Yeah. But um yeah, I still need a uh I need a Hawaiian shirt. Hawaiian shirt. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow on this podcast. Yeah. But if I find Ooh, one. We should have went to the store before it got too late. I know. I definitely waited last minute on getting a Hawaiian shirt, mm. but um I don't own one. It's like have I gotten to the age where I need to start getting Hawaiian shirts? I don't know. Isn't that what like dads do? Well, I don't know, because you have a dad who is in the tropics at the moment and uh, i went to buy him a pair of trunks bathing yeah. suit bottoms when i was um visiting and he specifically told me do not bring back any hawaiian or tropical print i just want i want a solid color which was now funny. my question is um i'm gonna do something with this hat uh i feel like a baseball player who's 12 change with it frank i said oh. <laughs> you can be beanie boy isn't that more gen z anyway yeah. Baseball caps are very millennial. That's actually really true. There you go. Um <laughs> There you go. Afterwards you can get a seven eleven and uh, <laughs> sit look, on the I curb. feel like such a hipster. <laughs> hey guys. I like um, it. I gonna, actually like we're it. We're gonna listen to some 
music that's not mainstream. You're going to forget what we were talking about. I, I bet I bet people think this looks good right here. I like it. I feel like I should have a uh, like a, a satchel bag. This here. might be the beginning of, of something. And we'll remember the first time that it... Yes. Namaste. Yes. Only from Disney Channel. Was Oh, I wonder if... Do you know how we celebrate St. Paddy's Day more than Ireland does? Yes. Because they're just Irish and they don't need an yes. excuse to throw them green. Does he like think does he being from Trinidad all his life be like, what do you what do you why would I want to wear a Hawaiian shirt? Maybe because like in, my life is a Hawaiian shirt. Right. I thought that um, when I go down to Florida and I see people are in people are in their, uh, you know, their seaside clothes and their yeah. colors and prints and everything. And I and it's fun, you know, when you're when you when you're coming from up north or Midwest you pack and you're like so yeah. excited for this. When I went to Trinidad, uh, it was funny to me because everyone just wore like normal mm, clothes, yeah. and, you know, like, <laughs> long pants, long shirts. You're, you're expecting some like grass skirts yeah, no, and coconut just, bras. They just had on <laughs> clothes, so yeah, maybe that's why. But yeah, anyway, gotta gotta find myself a tiki tiki. Oh, maybe I should just wear a top. grass skirt and a coconut bra. Tiki top. That's probably appropriation. I don't think they ever wore coconut bras to begin with. I can wear a seashell bra, like Ariel. Yeah. Ariel. That's Ariel, right? It's Ariel. Ariel. Um, yesterday, I got stuck in the middle, in the beginning, really, of the podcast. I could not remember... What oh, I wanted yes. to say. Yes. You, did you finally remember? Did you, see, did you watch the video? Yes. So? Where I faded and that's it in. exactly what I wanted to say. <laughs> uh, you told me that I get obsessed with the weather, the storm. Like yeah. You're obsessed with like the weather changing from I'm, summer. I'm obs- yeah, I'm obsessed with this changing of seasons. But I was keeping everyone updated on there was a storm last night. There was yeah. an electric outage last night. There was a flood yesterday. But this time, you all can probably relate. Everyone from Louisiana um, straight on up to, I think New England is when Ida exited the United States, was affected. Um, some of our, our followers were very affected and were very sorry. Like, um, yeah, it's awful. Family members lost houses. But um, that happened when we were gone. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, literally every single time I went to Florida. Because la- if you remember when I said you bring up too much, <laughs> was the last time because I was in Florida. Oh, right. I came back and you said you missed it. Right. And before, I- I'm like... Either I am myself lucky mm-hmm. and it just so happens, or me leaving Pennsylvania takes then, away the protection. Yeah, do you know so that? That still makes do you, you know, lucky. You know Sodom and Gomorrah. We'll mm-hmm. throw some Bible stories in here because it's a Christian podcast where they said if you go into the city and you find one good person, right? I won't destroy it. Yeah. I wonder if I'm the one good person in Philadelphia. Oh my gosh, you're gonna have to quickly travel around the United States, like very, very quickly into each state. I've always wanted to fly across the world and try to keep up with the sun. Um, I want to have a 24-hour day. Actually, so all I would need to do is go to Alaska. Ida or Antarctica. entered the United States through the Gulf yes. into Louisiana. When we were driving to Florida, we were driving with uh, electric company trucks from mm-hmm. up north that were going down to Louisiana. And Shout so- out electric companies that... Yeah, yeah, they might be getting a few extra dollars, but uh, doesn't mean yeah. they're not putting themselves in it harm's was, way yeah. to go to where the storm's at. Rather than leave from right. where the storm That's is. That's true. They are very, I mean, well, 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 there was a million people without power yeah. uh, down south and, and they headed down um, to help them. So very odd that this hurricane kept its strength. Yeah. It kept enough strength rather. I'm sure it was depleting. But yeah. so we had, we, we were gone from Philadelphia. We were. And Philadelphia was underwater. Ida came to Philadelphia. And it... It tornadoed it, it hurricaned it, it flooded it like never, ever, ever before. Never. You see I-76? I didn't because it was underwater. <laughs> we saw the pictures. It's nuts. And, and, the, and the unbelievable footage. Yeah. It was beyond shocking. Yeah. Jer- um, Jersey. Jersey. Jer- Jersey. Yeah. Tornadoes. Yeah. Huge tornadoes. Ripping apart houses. Yeah. It showed me how weak houses are. Is what it did. Mm. And I was wondering, I'm like, I wonder if like these east coast houses are not built like i wonder if like uh, kansas yeah. and stuff no it's true like california houses are built earth earthquake safe yeah because some of the devastation in it was these big like mcmansions mm-hmm. and it looked like 
They were pay- they were uh, a house of cards. Some houses get torn apart, and and it's just unfortunately like a house of cards. It's gone. Yeah. The things that were concerning me, I mean, they all concerned me, and I prayed for all. But the ones that just look like a dollhouse, so like the one wall. Yeah, that's was what I'm gone. saying. Yeah. Imagine people seeing my messy house. <laughs> You're in the bathtub. <laughs> right? It'd be like, wow. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, oh, it must be such a gut wrenching feeling. Not not only did you lose your You're house, exposed. But it's like, oh, there's my nudie magazines down on the highway. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Because it's like your stuff's everywhere. Your stuff's everywhere. And so, like, do you just go wandering around? Oh, and the dogs. You're a dumb. You're a dumber. You're a bummer. Yesterday, um, global warming. <laughs> I'll say it. it. I'll say it. No, but that's no, true. You know what? I don't that's care. True. I don't care if I get canceled by some people who are non-believers. And it it gave me the idea for your for this year's um Halloween costume. I even, I even texted you so you could remember. Ah, uh, yeah, I read it. But remind me for the audience. You're going to be a melted ice cap. <laughs> How would I do that? You're just gonna wear a white hat and then just be soaking wet. Uh, well, it's definitely a the last uh, piece of snow will be on top. It's definitely an idea. Global warming, Global guys. Warming. We were warned that we would get strange weather years ago, and it's happening. Wake up, wake up, people. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Um, wake up. I yesterday. I thought it was the ninth. You did. It wasn't the ninth. It was the eighth. It was. The eighth is a um merry holiday. Mary. Mary, did you know? Mary, the mother of Let God. Let your baby boy. September we'll someday 8th. walk on water. September 8th is the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The okay. nativity? Yeah. I thought the nativity was the... Nativity by the Christmas story is when Jesus is in the t- Christmas nativity, but um, I guess nativity just means um, a baby, baby. Okay, so what does the nativity of the blessed? It means her birthday. Oh, happy and birthday! It, right, so it was Mary's birthday, but it's not really Mary's birthday. Obviously, just like Jesus's birthday, it's the date we chose to celebrate. celebrate. And um, December eighth is feast of the Immaculate Conception. So December eighth is when. The angel Gabriel comes to um, Mary. Mary and tells her she's going You're to gonna have, have a baby, right. not just any baby. So everyone's very, everyone's familiar with um, December eighth. People kind of forget about September eighth, which was the Nativity of the Blessed Mother. Do people do anything? I don't like, think is there so. a special service? Probably, but I mean, it's not like is there. I don't know. It's not one of the main holidays. May is also a big month of Mary. Yeah. Um, yeah. But really, the the origins are sort of kind of confusing of why we do that. But I think whatever. May is the most feminine month. It's funny you should say that because I did see it's something. Also, the month I was born, but I'm masculine. No, I did see something a that body there hurts. were other there were pagan or you know, uh, like maternal, f- feminine um, goddess idols. things, and so that they made it. But I liked that. Um, one of the earliest places that it was celebrated, um, the, the month of May, celebrating Mary, was in Italy near Verona. Verona, I know someone named Verona. Sometimes, not today. Paprika. Paprika. So, um, Mary, we missed it. We missed. Yeah, it was yesterday. It was yesterday, but that's okay. Um, we could still talk about. Well, her we would have missed it today anyway. Why? Because we thought yesterday was the ninth as well. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay. We missed this. Yeah. Now they have something called the a convention. I don't know. A, Mary, the Mariological Marian Marian Congress, and it's the Pope um, is in charge of it, and they have it, and it it is it is especially with you know mo- not especially specifically with Catholics, um, it is devoted to always remembering celebrating being inspired by and commemorating mary mother of god yes and um so that happened yesterday the congress uh is going from the 8th to the to the 11th yesterday was the opening day mm. so pope francis um spoke about it and it was being quoted everywhere where um this is his quote mary in the beauty of following the gospel and in her service to the common good of humanity and the planet 
always teaches us to listen to the voices of the voiceless. She herself becomes the voice of the voiceless. Amen to that. People are friends of that? Yes. He has a way with words. He really does. So um, Mariology is the study of the Blessed Mother. Mm. Can you get a degree in that? Yeah, there's places that you can study it and, and all this. Now, a lot of Christian religions are against it, and they call it Mariolatry. Ooh. And the Catholics say we are not making an idol of her. And we're, no, you know, and we're not praying to her. It's important. We're not praying to her. If you look at um, the Hail Mary... I think right. we said this in an earlier podcast. Yeah, we did Hail Mary walkthrough. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's you're not praying to her. You're asking right. her to pray. You right. say, um, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Right. It's not. Yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. You're, yeah. you're, you're praying through her, someone who was human. Right. Just like, uh, just like anything. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Um, she's just like anything. Just like uh, anything. My, um, our aunt is is a part of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, uh, Order of Nuns. Yes, she is. Uh, you did the nun run. I did. I ran with the nuns. You ran with the nuns. Um, they're still an active group, and my aunt must have gone in in the fifties or sixties. She's now at Camilla Hall, which is um where they take care of the oldest nuns. Mm-hmm. And if, uh, whatever, if you've wanted to check them out, you could look it up. IHMimmaculata.org. Check it out. Check it out. Like, follow, and subscribe. Yes. Um, so the Pope was focusing on the fact that Mary, we don't, we don't idolize, like you just said, Mary as a, as a girl, as a human, as someone who lived and died. Um, we are inspired and, um, we learn from her how she lived the word of God. Yes. So when people say, how could she be the mother of God? And that's a confusion and it's way deeper than walk through Thursday. But the Pope was saying, Jesus is the word of God. And she is the mother of the word of God because yeah. she said, it's the gospel. It's what you're telling me. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm going to do um, all through her son's life. Uh, she was allowing the gospel to happen. Yeah. And the, a lot of times grace is used with her. What's happening? <laughs> oh. Oh. God bless you. Uh, the devil was in me. God bless you. Thank you. Um. So it's more about being inspired like, like you're inspired by lots of people. Well, yeah. So here's the thing, right? Jesus is God. We know that. Yes. We say, what would Jesus do? Yes. In everything. That's how we, we deem what is right and what is wrong. Mary is not God. Mary was a human. Yes. Through and through. Right. Not even not even a demigod. Right. As the um the Nor- Hercules cartoons Hercules says. cartoons <laughs> would say. She was a human who encapsulated what it meant to be without sin, to right. be to live a perfect life while being human. Right. So we can we are looking at that. Mm-hmm. You know like Jesus, you're you're always looking up to him, right? But Mary, it's you should be le- like leading by example. Obviously, Jesus led by example. Right. You, you know what I'm yes, trying to say. Yes. It, it's a it's a human, a, a fallible right. human, right? Who lived an infa- unfallible life, right? Yeah. Um, and so much of a confusion of life. Like we we always say, we want to pray for understanding. Pray for understanding. It's the most important thing to pray for is understanding because. You can pray for riches and health and you can pray for good luck and you can pray for uh, whatever. But the true gift, the true peace comes from understanding. Yes. So you just are like, because nothing makes sense. Everything seems painful. Imagine the pain of Mary's life. Yeah. But she... Look at the pieta. She... Right. Art. I wanted to talk about art. Um, So just to finish that up, I'm just saying because she trusted the word of God, she lived the word of God, she was the word of God. Uh, she became the word of God. She was assumed into heaven. Um, we are inspired by her. Art, the Pieta. Who made the Pieta? Should we introduce what day it is? Walk through Thursday? Yeah. Ready to dance already? Well, we're 20 minutes in. Let's dance. What's up, guys? It is Walk Through Thursday. Thursday. Roll the intro. Frank. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. 
Because walkthrough Wednesday just begun. What's going on, guys? It is walkthrough Thursday, your favorite time of the century. What we do here is we open up the Bible. Is it the Bible tie? Yeah. The Bible's open. Stop it. Stop listening to your music. The Bible's open. You can listen to your music. You can do both. What we do is we look at a Bible verse and we break it down for you guys. We go paragraph by paragraph. Sentence by sentence. Line by line. Yep. Word by word. Yep. Letter by letter. And what we do is we slow it down. And we just we, we we try to get the deeper meaning. Not even the deeper meaning, we just try to understand it more rather than just have instead of it being a mantra. Yeah. Talk we just talk about understanding. Remember that? That's right. That's what today's all about. Understanding. So continue your spiel sure. about art. Well you just mentioned art. Um and we'll just say that before we go to the Bible verse. Um Mary, the mother and child art. The Madonna. How often do we see that? Uh, pretty often. Pretty, pretty often. To the, to the, and a lot of the reason for that is a lot of the, these artists were commissioned for it because it was such a popular, yeah. you know, uh, can you can you paint me a bowl of fruit? It, you know, you wanted the very best artist to do this very, very um, wanted thing, which is the mother and child. Madonna. 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 Um, so who who did it? Leonardo? Everyone did it. No, I meant the Pietita. No, it's Michelangelo. Oh, Michelangelo. Okay. I see Leonardo's name. He must have painted or doing something else. Paint it. Yeah, Virgin of the Rocks. I guess that would have been Leonardo. Okay, well, that's it. You can just easily look that up. And um, there's very beautiful, beautiful pictures. And um, I want to go to Rome. In their own right. I know you said that in one of the podcasts. Maybe I'll go. You want to go tomorrow? Sure. I need a passport. Rome, Pennsylvania. No, you need, Rome, a, Rome? You need a password? A passport. passport. It's just so crazy, you know? Ancient Rome. I can never get how, over how advanced they were how long ago. I know you said that. Because it's, it's so, it, it baffles me. We yeah. always we always think of, when I say we always, I'm saying me. I always think of a fake timeline in history right. where it goes, you were living in caves and then you were able to build stone structures right. with knights and kings. Right. And then they learned how to be philosophers and they were making architecture. Right. And then we slowly became, No. It li- we're living in caves to architecture, some of which we can't replicate today. Right. The most beautiful art. Nobody was hungry. They all had enough food to go around. And then after that, they were. That's when the um, peasants and the oh, I have to go to the king's castle. And then, yeah. isn't that nuts? It is. Where would we be if Rome did not fall? Who knows? Who knows? Oh God. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So. Um, today or yesterday was the Nativity of the Blessed Mother. Um, so, in honor of the fact that we just we just traipsed right over it, we 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 instead were talking about I don't know what was yesterday the time I was cursing. I don't know. Yeah, you were cursing a little bit. Crazy. Um, so we'll just do it today. So th- this is Luke one. Luke one. Um, a piece of Luke one. A piece of Luke one. You can just read that piece. I'll just read this piece. <laughs> All right, we're looking at Luke 1. So it's the birth of Jesus foretold, but we're skipping to 34 to 38. Yeah. Luke 1, 34 to 38, for the people who like to see it. Mary asked the angel, how can this happen since I have not had relations with a man? The angel answered her, the Holy Spirit will come over you and the power of the Most High will surround you. Therefore, the child will be holy and will be called the Son of God. And listen, Elizabeth, your relative, has herself conceived a son in her old age. This woman, who was rumored to be barren, is in her sixth month. Nothing is impossible with respect to any of God's promises. Then Mary said, Truly I am the Lord's servant. Let everything you have said happen to me. Then the angel left her. That's it. That's our... That's our um, piece for today. That's our piece for today. It's the... Put it here so I can see it. Put it here. Put it here. Um, and the, the, the boil down of that is, I think, um, where is it? She's, oh, 38. She says, um, then Mary said, truly, I am the Lord's servant. Let everything happen that you just said. Complete yeah. acceptance. Yeah. It was, it was. Invitation. Cause you know what? This is a little callback. It's not a callback to, 
but it's what it reminds you of, which was different. If you look at, is it Sarah? Is that Abraham's wife? You know, I mix up that. How dare you bring that up? Because I cannot keep track of that story because there's a similar couple that had because she was she got pregnant in her old age right yeah yeah well and, and remember the angel told her yeah and what did she do laughed she laughed right so and that was like part of it is like she they both laughed but he laughed and like a ha ha the yeah, lord and right. she laughed and like a ha ha we'll see i'm old yeah <laughs> but mary was like she was like wait hold on and she didn't laugh and she's a virgin yeah she was like how is it possible and right she's like he's like it's possible right anything's possible through god she's like i'm the lord's servant yes that's crazy. Right. Not that's good. No, it, crazy. It, I'm saying like, like that's, that's, that's wild. You know, it's funny you should say that. It's funny you should say that. Um, we just went to the Billy Graham. Um, I was calling it Billy Graham land. I like that. Billy I wish, Graham land. I wish they would keep it. Um, Billy Graham land. He should have came out with a line of crackers. Billy Graham crackers? You just call them Graham crackers. We could still do it. Um, there is a very big turning point in his life. where And it's it was talked about throughout the museum. And it's when he goes out. Um, he is, he is, he was brought up with the Bible. He's preaching the Bible. He, this is what he wants to do. Yeah. But when people start questioning him back, like, how could that be? What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. How does that make sense? Cause then, then that's when you start getting into that theological debate we yeah. talked about. He went outside, he took his Bible, he put it on a, on a tree stump. This is a true story from his mouth. And he, he was saying to God, uh, this is crazy. I'm not, de- I'm not denying that this is crazy. Mm-hmm. So what should I do? Because I only have two choices. One is, is to think that the whole story is crazy, that Jesus is crazy, the whole thing is crazy, or to have complete and absolute faith and yeah. belief in it. Yeah. Obviously, we all know that he chose, I'm going to have complete and total belief and mm-hmm. faith in it. So for you to say, oh, well, that's crazy. Right. That's the only other option. So she was on that tree stump. She's yes. like, I have two options. Yes. I can either say, this is crazy. Right. Which it is crazy. Right. Objectively. Right. Or she's like, I'm going to have complete faith in the Lord. And that's what she did. And that's why she is who she is. And that's why she was picked. Right. To that's carry why she was picked. The son of God. Right. And for to say, well, okay, she's a minor character in the Bible because frankly, of all the words I look up on BibleGateway.com. BibleGateway.com. We're not going to go through a podcast without saying it. Um, Mary. That's a small word that's going to come up. There's a lot of Marys in the Bible. There is. Mary and Martha. Mary yeah. Magdalene. Well, he leaves, you know. Yeah. But Mary, it's a small part of the Bible. Small. And that's why the Pope is saying this is very, very important per- uh, person that lived that, that we can't forget and that is a wealth of inspiration, consolation yeah. to us. Mm. So even though you can't, you know, quantity, quality, you know, she wasn't mentioned much, but what she did. What just she did. In this, Why she was in chosen. This, in this teeny tiny walk through Thursday piece alone. Mm-hmm. That's faith right there. Right. Imagine being told, what's something, like I'm a guy. That has nothing to do with it. So I'm trying to think, <laughs> I'm like, what, if someone told me something that's impossible. I don't, I know. don't know. You're going to fly? Yeah. Let's just say that. Yeah. You're going to fly. And I'm like, how am I going to fly? I don't have wings. The you'll, Lord. You'll sprout them tonight. Not even. It didn't. It was, yeah. The, the Lord will. You'll sprout them in nine months. Nothing, <laughs> not, nothing is impossible. Right. With respect to any of God's promises. Right. And then I'll fly. Nothing. Okay. So. But then I'll be like, that's crazy. But she was like, I'm the Lord's servant. If he wants me to fly, I'll fly. Right. And that's and that's she, the, that's what we strive to be. She fulfilled the gospel. She's in the New Testament. She's not in the Old Testament. She fulfilled the gospel. Everything that had led its way up to there. Um, her proposed earthly husband was lineage of of David, David himself, and everyone knew the Messiah was coming from David. So she was like, "This is the gospel. This is what I'm going to do." Um, the Pope said, the mother of the Lord has her own special presence. She is the mother of all, regardless of ethnicity or nationality um, so or religion. So I just want to say she's for everybody. and She's, she's for everybody. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, like, because, yeah, it's de- like, uh, definitely we always say God is a parent. Right. Like, you can view it as, but you can view Mary's life and how she lived like a parent, a maternal role yes. of like. 
of when you need guidance yes and when you need what should i do once again so you're not praying to her but you're in a way asking the one human that we know who lived a perfect life right what would she do like what advice would she give me right and that's what it's all about here on walk through thursday but that is it for walk through thursday guys i hope you enjoyed it if you like spencer's beanie let us know should the beanie stay I don't know. I feel like I should like roll like my sleeve up a little bit. The whole thing. He was a skater boy. Um, we'll be back tomorrow for Fun Friday. Until then, go, go do something that Mary would have done. Probably something nice and maternal. Go, yeah. go, 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 go have fun. Peace. <laughs>